Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back to our channel. We're picking up right where we left off last week as we explore this meteor crater here in Winslow, Arizona, called the Beringer Crater. I always love a good coupon, so we got $5 off of our admission, which totaled $49 for the both of us. Along with loads of historical facts and paraphernalia, there are other cool things that we didn't expect, such as this Apollo test capsule. And also this astronaut. And now we're ready for the main event. Just look at this thing, it's huge. Over 50,000 years ago, space and Earth came together when a large iron nickel meteorite, approximately 150 feet wide, weighing several hundred thousand tons, hit this exact spot. This collision created a force 150 times greater than an atomic bomb. The result of this impact was devastation for miles. creating this bowl-shaped cavity, which measures 550 feet deep and almost one mile wide. It's crazy to me that something that's 150 feet wide can create such a huge impact. There are roughly 180 known impact craters worldwide. And a third of them, including some of the biggest, are located right here in the United States. What a sight to see. I'm so glad we decided to stop and take a look around. Our plan is to put in a lot of miles today, so the destination is unknown. But we're gonna enjoy Route 66 along the way. If we see something we like, we're just going to stop. Otherwise, we're just going to keep on driving. As you can see by the sign, we've made it to New Mexico. This part of the country was relatively flat, although the elevation was surprisingly high. We saw some red rock and other nice formations and the one constant was definitely all of the train activity pushing in both directions. We decided to pull off here in Tucumacari, New Mexico. We found this old motel right off of Route 66. Now they've converted it to an RV park, which is where we stayed the night. Where are we going? I don't remember. It's a restaurant. Oh, to dinner. Yeah. After a long day of driving, it was nice to get out and stretch our legs and walk to dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned next week as we make our way to Texas. Have a wonderful week.